turned around, took a first step forward, and next thing I know, I'm being flung into the air. I uh, tried to open up my eyes. I no longer had my uh, glasses on. I tried to open them up. There was nothing but dirt and soot and sand, everything in my eyes. All I could see was uh, shapes, dark shadows, and basically telling the guys that, hey, I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. I could make out four people, blacked out for a little bit, woke up, felt the uh, rotor wash from the helicopter, and I was like, oh, I'm being carried to the helicopter. Woke up, saw the same four figures, and I was like, hey, don't let me die here. Next thing I know is I see the uh, helicopter medic, and it's like, all right, you're going to go uh, take a nap for a little bit. It's like, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Wake up two and a half months later and in a hospital room with a white blanket over me. And It's helped because I can go out and do shopping if I need to, and I know if I am out doing something for, whether it's running errands or, or shopping or whatever, that he can get to things and take care of himself a little bit so I don't have to worry about him so much. For us, the program is building for America's bravest because obviously these are the bravest of all Americans. And we don't want to just build them a home, we want to help rebuild their lives. The greatest challenge was envisioning yourself in his personal situation. So you had to think about how you would go through your day with no arms and no legs. Right in the head. <laughs> 